Okay, this began its life as a 1961 Admiral Phonograph model SS4057. This was actually on its side, like, you know, laying horizontally with the phonograph back here, attached back here. But I chopped off, the phonograph did not work. I mean, it was, it was a lost cause. So I, I just chopped it off. I just, I chopped it off right here and used some of the leftover wood from the cabinet and made a top for it. It, uh, it's got balance, it's stereo, uh, obviously, it's got balance, treble, and loudness. It's an Admiral Stereophonic. Tubes, you can see the tubes in there, it's got a, I don't know if you can see them, but it's, it's a, 12AX7, 12AX7, and two 6B, BQ5s. This thing, it was sitting at a flea market for a few months, and nobody was interested in it, so I picked it up. The cabinet was actually pretty pretty nice and in some ways I feel bad about cutting cutting it down but you know it was headed for the dumpster so I rescued it and made a guitar amplifier out of it I it's I added uh, two inputs for two for, you can run it a guitar stereo so what I usually do is I run like a effects pedal a stereo effects pedal into it and then I um, it's got stereo outputs and I've got this cabinet wired each one of the speakers wired separately so you can run it in stereo so it, you know if you're doing something with chorus or flanger or something like that it it really sounds pretty cool And the cabinet, the cabinet I just got off of Craigslist. I, I um, do you remember when we picked this up, Leroy? The guy, he said, "Yeah, come on over. I'm here, so come on over." And we went over there, and it's like it looked like a vacant house. And we knocked on the door for like 20 minutes, and I guess the guy was asleep or something in there. And he finally came out. Uh, it was a, this used to be a Fender, Fender amplifier, but I just took took the grill off painted it gold to match this and uh, took the fender logo off of there and I, basically this is where the the amplifier was up there there was no amplifier in this it was just the cabinet so I just moved that up to kind of fill in the hole and then the hole is down at the bottom now but it's not really a hole it's got a it's like a board down there it had a couple of Alnico speakers in it, a mismatch pair of Alnico speakers, and uh, you know I don't know why I I should have just left those in there, but I've got these Celestians. It, it sounds pretty good. I never did even test the Alnico speakers. I've still got them, but anyway, uh, th this was a pretty nice. This record player was a pretty cool little uh, record player unit. It had, it had uh, two speakers and I'll, I'll put some copies, I'll, I'll put some photos of the speakers in the video here so you can see what they look like. And I still have them and I actually when I was searching searching for this on the internet I actually found I think it was somebody on um, one of the websites, one of the like radio museum or something like that, somebody was actually looking for those speakers, but the post was like, I don't know, five or six years old, and I could never, I could never track down the guy to see if he still wanted them because he was looking for 
the speakers to go with his his admiral record player I still have them so if he happens to see this video he's welcome to him I can work out a deal anyway uh, this thing has got did I say that it's got 12 x 12 x7 and two 6BQ5s. Okay, so a 6BQ5 is a beam power amplifier. It's pin toed. Uh, 6CV. Oops. 6CV. Yeah, it's pin toed. And it, um, it has six watts, <laughs> six watts. So it's, there's two of them. So it's you know ten, ten or twelve watt amplifier. The the chassis on this thing is actually chassis four F three A, and and you know the model number SS four zero five seven isn't shown here seven. So it must be some special, must have been some special design or something. But any, anyway, it's got a you know the input typically would just come in from the the record changer and then comes right into the 12x7 you know it's in stereo and then each one each half of the 12x7 goes into an EL84 or 6BQ5 and that's it it's really really just really simple amplifier I really didn't do much of anything as far as changing it because I, I remember I just I plugged the guitar into it you know right there and it it was fine so I, I really didn't do too much to it except it didn't have enough gain so I did end up adding a little uh, tube, tube preamp to it and I'll show you that in just a minute So anyway, like I said, the, the record player was back here. I mean, this this would be laying on the side, and the record player was back behind the amplifier here. So I and I, I uh, used some some of the wood from the cabinet and made a top from that. And then it's just a really really sweet little little amplifier. It's got a five y three rectifier two 6BQ5s and a 12AX7 and then a pretty pretty nice power amplifier and a couple of sweet little uh, output transformers and it didn't with only one with only one 12AX7 it didn't have quite enough gain you know it would be it would be fine for just using a pedal some pedals which is really how I end up using it um, but if you wanted to play it without pedals, it needed a little bit more gain. So I added this little tube preamp that I got off of eBay to it. And I, you know, to tell you the truth, I really can't tell. I can't. I don't remember too much about it, or I can't really tell you that much about that. I just got it off of eBay, just a little tube preamp, and I just wired it in, wired it into the to the input so it gives just a little bit more just a little bit more power November 16 1960 oh it's actually 1960 so just a really really sweet little stereo tube amplifier And then I actually originally had the the pilot light. I had a pilot light coming out right here. I had a hole right here and a pilot light there. And uh, it just it looked stupid. I got had gotten too big of a pilot light, so it looked kind of awkward. So I just got this little badge. Actually, this came from a purse that I found at a garage sale, and I stuck that in there. So it's it's you know it's an original amp. Okay, I'm just gonna play play this, and then I'll I'll kick in this this little pod unit here, and uh, 
you can see what it sounds like. You probably won't hear that with this with the stereo sound it is through through the camera microphone, but it does sound pretty good in stereo. Okay, so I got this on clean. Um, I can't completely bypass the pod unit, but I've got it on clean and bypassing effects. So. my uh, Stratocaster here and I've got it on a single coil so that's basically what it sounds like um, with no effects on it and then uh, if you put the chorus on there and you probably won't be able to tell much through the microphone on this camera but it's in stereo it sounds pretty cool